Hi everybody, I'm Nate Eaton outside the Bonneville County Courthouse with Senator Jim Risch, who's been in eastern Idaho for the day, meeting with the Sheriff's Office here in Bonneville County. Uh, Senator, thanks for talking with me. I have a couple questions I want to ask you. One being about the two workers from China Horizons. Uh, from Rexburg, they went to China about a year ago. They were arrested. A lot of people are wondering what the update is. I know you probably can't tell us everything happening behind the scene, but what can you tell us? Well, well first thing I can tell you is, um, We've got a State Department that is very, very good uh, in Washington, D.C. There's thousands of people there that work for the State Department in different uh, uh, things that they do. One of them is uh, dealing with problems that American citizens have in a different country. Uh, there are 200 countries in the world. Every one of them has different laws, different customs, and that sort of thing. Uh, we, it is not uh, uncommon that Americans have a problem with uh, a, a foreign government. That's what's happened here. Uh, these people have been detained. Uh, they're detained for things that they would not get detained for in the United States. I can tell you this. Uh, I have a staff that deals directly with the agency in the State Department that is dealing with this particular case. They regularly see the people and uh, check on their well-being and their welfare. That is being done. Um, we are doing everything we can uh, behind the scenes to move this to a better place than where it is. Uh, we have been pretty successful on ones that are similar to this, but in the meantime, it is just a horrible catastrophe for the families as they sit and uh, worry about their loved ones that are that are in a prison in a, in a different country. Um, we always, we, the, the State Department has a very robust operation as far as uh, telling people and educating people the do's and don'ts when they travel to a particular country. Obviously, uh, China's very high up on the list of things you have to learn before you go there so you don't run a follow the law. They are not a democracy like we are. They, 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 they don't have a, a First Amendment or, or other uh, uh, rights that, uh, that people have here. Uh, it, it is a very central government. Uh, and so people have to be careful when they travel in, in other countries. But look, if something happens, uh, we're there, the State Department's there to do all we can uh, to try to resolve it. And hopefully we have some, some good news and a peaceful yeah. resolution. We've, as you, you may remember, it's been some years back now, but we had uh, a pastor who was in Iran uh, visiting his family over there, and he wound up uh, uh, in an Iranian prison for years. But we did, at the end of the day, we did, uh, we did get him out. That's great. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the coronavirus. This, the bill, the stimulus bill, for the record, we were both wearing masks before this interview <laughs> and we are standing Stand apart. Yeah. I know that six that, feet, clearly. six feet. Yes. Uh, the bill, what's happening with the bill? Are people going to get a stimulus, stimulus check? check? Is yeah. that, when is that going to be fixed? Yeah. Good question. If you back up to when this thing started, uh, we put uh, about three trillion dollars into a lot of different areas to keep liquidity in the marketplace and also to directly counter the COVID, whether it through vaccine development, through uh, therapeutic development, through personal protective equipment, and, and helping things like law enforcement and others that have a, that, that their costs went up considerably because of the COVID. And it did go up considerably the COVID. Um, a lot of those programs got started. Uh, some of them even expired, like, uh, uh, like the unemployment, uh, in Idaho, people are eligible for about $300 a week if they go on unemployment. After the first COVID bill, 600 went on top of that. So they were receiving about 900 a week as opposed to the 300 a week. That program expired uh, July 31st. We've negotiated with the other side, trying to reach a, an agreement on what that amount should be and how it should be administered. Because when these things start and you do a one size fits all program, you know, it's just loaded with potholes. And uh, so we've, we've tried to fix that. We were unable to reach an agreement, but the president, to his credit, uh, has gone in with an executive order and used, uh, uh, repurposed some funds uh, that were in FEMA uh, to, to add 300 or 400, depending upon what state you're in, to the regular 300 that you get. So that's a work in progress. We also have negotiations going on as far as a larger uh, bill is concerned. Uh, we meet every morning uh, uh, by conference call 
and uh, uh, I, I can tell you that uh, it's been slow and they're not progressing now. Saturday, they have told us, the other side has told us that they didn't want to do it piecemeal. They wouldn't even do a bill where on the dozen or so things that we agree on, but they must have changed their mind because Saturday in the House of Representatives, they're actually going to vote on a piece of it that has to do with the Postal Service. And so that will be a House bill. House bill. It will come over to the Senate. We uh, in the Senate uh, are waiting for it. it uh, we will go back, not this coming week, but probably the week after that. We will take the House bill, make it better, and send it back over there. So that, that's the status of where we are on that. There's a lot of moving parts in it, 18, 20 different parts. Like you said, the stimulus, the vaccines, the education, the schools. A lot of the schools have had real difficulty trying to either reopen or deal with educating the kids through a different process. And that's something that's important to us uh, that, that, uh, that we want to see done. So anyway, it, it's a work in progress and uh, we'll keep at it. And you mentioned the Postal Service. Suddenly, a week or two ago, it was thrown into the headlines again. Yeah. Uh, are people in Idaho going to be safe to vote by mail this year? Is their ballot going to be counted? Are there going to be any issues? Yes, yes, and no. <laughs> there, okay. uh, look, um, we, uh, people get worked up about this, which I don't, I don't completely understand. In Idaho, we've been voting by mail for a long, long time. Well, President the, Trump has kind of gotten people he, worked he up. He has, and he has a legitimate uh, complaint in states where they just mail out ballots to people who haven't requested them, and just a mass mailing. I mean, that, that has some real uh, problems with it, that uh, it could be rife with fraud. Here in Idaho, they're very careful about it. You know, they, they compare signatures and uh, uh, in, in Idaho, I am, I am very confident that uh, between the county clerks, which do a great job putting on elections, and, uh, and the Postal Service, uh, who really do a great job in handling the mail, I mean, we all complain, it might be a little slower here or there, but uh, there, there's, there, there's no vote going to go uncounted. Uh, there, there's no doubt in my mind. The other side, uh, with all due respect to my friends on the other side of the aisle, they want to nationalize elections. They want the federal government to handle all elections everywhere in the country. Well, you can imagine that doesn't sell really well with us. We, we, we love our local clerks. We love our states. Our, our states are really, really competent about putting on elections. We've been doing it for a long time, since the, since the dawn of this country. And uh, I, I have every confidence that, uh, that, that we'll get through this and get through it well. And speaking of the elections, it's the Democratic National Convention this week. Joe Biden expected to accept the official nomination tonight. Is he going to win? <laughs> He'll win the nomination. <laughs> I'll the give nomination, you that. Yeah. Uh, look, I know him very well. I know uh, uh, Kamala very well. Uh, she sits on the Intelligence Committee with me. Uh, this, it, it's really difficult to make a call at this time. I've got a lot of friends that are pollsters, you know, and, and uh, we, you know, they talk about the poll, and I say, guys, you're the same people that told us that Hillary was going to win by 10 points. And they said, oh, yeah, well, we didn't make a mistake. Said, How can you say you didn't make a mistake? I can understand a point or two points, maybe even three points, but 10 points? Um, it's difficult to poll these days uh, for, for obvious reasons. I mean, landlines are down to just a fraction. Most people are carrying cell phones. So it's, it's difficult to do polling, and particularly with the... Uh, put this kindly, there's a lot of animosity out there, there's, there's a lot of vitriol out there, and a lot of people aren't real anxious to tell others who they're going to vote for. So uh, uh, I think we're going to have to wait till election day to, to find out how this goes, but uh, we'll, we'll get through it. We're Americans. Look, we've been through all kinds of stuff. This co Look, we, we, this year's only slightly over half over. We've been through an impeachment. I don't know if you remember that or not. Seems like we, decades we, yeah, ago. We've been through race riots. Yeah. We've been through the COVID. And it's only half over. But Americans are, are incredibly resilient. You know, been through a revolution. We've been through two civil wars. Or excuse me, a civil war, two world wars. We've been through a Great Depression. We've been through all kinds of other stuff. We're really good about bouncing back and coming back stronger than what we are. I have absolute confidence America will be back. It definitely has been a year to remember. It will be and probably won't be remembered fondly by yeah, most well, people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, it, but, but will be remembered. Senator Rich, thanks so much. Thank you.